a warning to all those that would seek the heart. The journey we undertake this week warrants no specific content warnings. However, we still urge those who would join us to be cautious and certain before you embark. If you are prepared, then we invite you along as we delve through the city beneath. Welcome to Echoes of the Undercity. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of Echoes of the Undercity. As always, I am your Game Master Rio, my pronouns are she, her, and with me are my four players. Hi everyone, my name is Martina, my pronouns are she, her, and I play the... <laughs> do I play? I play the Cleaver, Frost on Silver Mirror. Hello, my name is Dylan, my pronouns are he, him, and I play the Witch, Amber of Sun. Hi, my name is Jenna. My pronouns are she, her, and I play the penitent heretic, Autumn's voice falters. Hey, I'm Joe. My pronouns are she, her, and I play the human junk mage, Reed. Last time on Echoes of the Undercity, Silver left Gorin and was tracked down by Amber and Reed, who had gone to see why he was missing. They picked up Autumn on that on the way A, and after chasing after and catching up with Silver, uh, who was struggling due to being influenced by the heart, the group had a quiet moment together. After a short ritual from Autumn, an injured Frederick came stumbling into their camp and shared some information that he'd managed to got while in Gorin. So right now, Silver and Reed are waiting outside the city, and Autumn and Amber went back with Frederick to get some equipment and also like make sure Frederick doesn't get beat up again. So now that you're on your way to the inn and you're inside Gorin, is there anything you want to do or do we just jump in until when you're inside again? I don't think there's anything I want to talk about on the way, maybe on the okay. way back. Yeah, I, I, I think we would probably just want to make a beeline to safety. So you go to the inn and you get everyone's equipment. On your way out, Autumn, mm -hmm. you see a person that you know from before your life standing in the inn. Mm -hmm. What did he look like? So is this, a, is this a man or a woman? What did he look like? Uh, okay, well, this person is, uh, since I'm, I'm assuming this is order-related content, yeah. uh, it's another Elphir, uh, since the order is Elphir exclusive. Similar build in, in terms of, like, pretty strong, tall, but a bit older, uh, more weathered. They they kind of have, like, the leathery face of somebody who is, uh, like, a sailor in a past life, almost. Okay. They have kind of, like, not white, but, like, near nearly white gray hair and a ponytail and, like, a chin strap beard. Unlike last time you saw this person, their arm is in a cast and they're keeping themselves upright with a crutch. But they do look at you with disdain in their eyes as they walk up to you. If if Amber sees Autumn, he would see her like show like observable fear for the first time in their travels. Not even the heart's blood beast or the, the, the evil trees would shake her to this level. Uh hello, can we help you? Please let me handle this. We have business to attend to. And they wave Amber and Frederick away. Are you okay with us leaving? It, yes, it will be fine. This is all just part of my penitence. Okay, so we go away. So, Autumn. You look rough. What happened to you? I had a nasty run-in. I was taken care of by some folks I got along with. They called themselves the Necrocolinarians. I've had my run-ins with them. Their leader stared me down while I was doing some repairs in the town. Remy told me. What do you need from me? I need you to complete my task. I'm not able at the moment, and they nod to the cast and the crutch. Anything for the order? I need you to carry out an assassination for me. Of course. Do, can I have a name? It's a mad cult member. Hangs out around 
the machinery. Is there any more you can tell me about this person? Dolvin has committed crimes against our order and I was sent to end him. But you'll have to do it. And you know you can't refuse. Anything for the order? I know it's against policy, but what were his crimes? That's not for you to know anymore, Autumn. Understood. I'm sorry I asked. Good. You have your task. Don't show your face around Gorin until you've, you've completed it. And where should I meet you once it's complete? I'll be staying with Remy until I'm healed. Good to know. It shouldn't take longer than that for you, if you're still capable. I am more than capable. We'll see. And they leave. As soon as their gaze like leaves Autumn's face, Autumn just lets out this like huge exhale, like <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so Amber was super watching and runs over <laughs> and is like What what happened? What did you two talk about? Are you okay? I'm fine, we can talk about it once we leave. Okay. Let's find somewhere to let Frederick rest. Yes, I I think it's best for us to find a place for him first. So my major beat is being is being assigned that mission. Yes. So I <clears throat> go ahead and clear that. Okay. So uh, what better advancement to get for being told to carry out an assassination is one that makes me kill better. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So I that, that's yeah, fair. I got um, the oath of fury. Uh, roll Endure plus Legend to besiege Damnu to lend you her fury as you adorn yourself with sacred silver symbols. On a success, until end of session you gain the kill skill, and your attacks gain the brutal tag. If you already yes. possess the kill skill, gain a knack relevant to an intended target. Brutal. At the end of the session, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> I also have the brutal tag. It's yeah. a fun one. Do you one. have the kill skill? Um, no. <gasps> you gotta uh, get no, the I kill do. skill. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yes. I do have the kill skill. And then at the end of the session, if I have not taken the life of a worthy creature, mark D6 stress to mind. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. That's scary. Yeah, it's very cool, though. A worthy creature. Can't, like, stomp a rat and expect that to do it, you know? <laughs> Unless that rat was really worthy. Does that count, does it count if the rat bites you and you're like, fuck you, rat? <laughs> <laughs> it probably would count for Reed, but maybe not for Autumn. <laughs> <laughs> so outside Gorin, Silver and Reed, it's been a bit, a bit longer than you thought that the others would have taken. So something is most likely holding them up, but you're still outside waiting. I think let's just cut to the middle of the conversation. Uh, you, we see Reed and Silver, and Reed's just like eating her food, and with her mouth full, she's just going like, "Yeah." So then I said. Why would you do that? And do you understand? You get it, right? Like, I was not the baddie in that situation, right? Uh, Silver so very obviously has not been lis- has not been listening and just, <laughs> like, <laughs> looks up and is just like, no. What? <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I'll take it. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. You are correct. Yes, I am not the baddie in this situation. Hey, so honestly, hey, I don't Reed. understand. What Reed, yeah, well, yeah, yes. Do, you, do it feels like Amber and Autumn has been gone for a while. I almost said the wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, it kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Um, it's probably fine though, right? I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if I were to guess, I'd say that Autumn saw, saw someone from past life that told her to assassinate <laughs> someone. But Reed. God, <laughs> that's just a prophecy. wild guess from me. <laughs> okay, no, that was that run was it a back. Joke. That was run a joke, back. everyone. Can I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Your magic comes from somewhere else. Yes. I mean, not technically, but I like to think that I've harvested it and grown it inside me and it's gotten stronger, if you may. But yeah, technically it doesn't come from me. And you're... I mean, you're you're fine with that? Does it not Uh, disturb you? 
It's not like I went around stealing people's magic like some thief. Like, I was offered this magic, and then I took it. And then the same guy kept popping up. It was a weird-ass guy. Constantly wore red. I don't know what that was about. But, yeah, like, the more the merrier. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, it it was a stupid question, probably. Um, What exactly do you want to know? Uh, Silver avoids your your gaze. Like he just like looks straight down at the ground. Why are you avoiding my gaze? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I look up again. He's like very shiftily. Like, st- tr- do you know the thing where you're like really uncomfortable, but you're like forcing yourself to hold someone's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, and just, uh, I just, it doesn't ever like try to influence you your magic it just you just harvest as you said you grow it yourself (laughs) silver have you seen me you think i'm like this with no magical influence whatsoever no it gets to me i'm constantly like fighting it and also not fight it's sort of like a river you're either going with the floor against the flow, and I, it's just about luck which way I'm going, honestly. And that you're you're fine with that? You you're not you're not worried about you're not worried about it overtaking you and you're doing something bad. It's about practice. I mean, there's been other junk mages. I'm not the first one. I'm not the last one. I'm not the most powerful one, and I don't plan to be the weakest one either. So I'll figure it out. I've been doing fine so far. Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. I guess that's true. Um, <clears throat> There's something you want to tell me, Silver. I very much don't, but I feel like I probably should. I would prefer to do it when the rest are here, though. Before they go back to town. I don't want to have to repeat it. Oh, that's fair. I get that. Do you have any more of those apples? Oh, I'm glad you asked. And I take out <laughs> another one. Okay, Yay. this is my last apple, but... And I take out a pear. <laughs> <laughs> a pear of what? Oh, oh my god. Shut the f- <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we a pair of my- apples! <laughs> well, no, what if I say... Oh, okay. I only have a pear left. A pear of apples! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. No. no, I'm not gonna do that. I have an apple and a pear left. Choose cool. one. I also want to say the character, I it's it's episode fucking nine, but I want to start like actively doing minor things like picking things up or whatever as if they're magical, because I I want to you know te- technically junk mages are constantly there's magic things going on just because of their energy, mm. magic things are happening around them. Constantly. Also, you take the so word junk do- quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> I do so. I want to just start mm, casually doing, not mechanically, but just random things Flavorly. like picking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love so the like apples that. and the, the the apple and the pear were picked up with magic, like or, or, levitating a lot of it. Sick. While those two are eating fruit, uh, let's see what let's see what Amber and Autumn are up to. <laughs> that's what Jamal's doing. <laughs> and that's my backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you gl- aren't you glad I regaled you with all the information? <laughs> Let's never tell yeah. anyone about it again. Okay, okay. I want to ask about what happened back there, but I don't know if you want to explain it to just me or to the whole group, and I want to let you decide because this seems like um, your story. Well, considering we have some time, I don't mind at least telling you a little bit more. Um it's, it's, I had hoped to avoid it so long as I was with a group, but it seems I cannot escape my fate. Well, I want to start first with what happened in that conversation. That was an old commander of mine. Apparently he was sent on a mission and was unable to complete it. And I have to finish what he started. Who is this person to you, other than a commander? Because I feel like I'm not getting the whole story here. I know you know that I am a member of the church. Right. 
but I've never really told you what I used to do for them, and why I carry around this big <laughs> clobbering weapon. Hmm. Yes. As you are very aware, uh, worship of the moon beneath is forbidden uh, among Elfir circles. <sighs> yes, I'm more than aware of that. Some people, like me and my old commander, we decided to use our positions as Elfir to protect those who would be hunted. So I imagine you were pretty tight-knit, considering... He was a friend, but I failed, and I will have to spend the rest of my life making it up. Failed in whose eyes? The goddess, the church, him. I don't think it matters. I, I well, failed. I, I think People it died. does matter, because... If it's a failure to you as well, that's important. Of course it's a failure to me. Well, that's something we need to consider, because there's a lot more tied up into this than just the moon beneath. It's about you and your future and what you want to do. And I'm concerned about that. I've been concerned about that for a while. I've noticed you don't really seem to care. It's not hard to spot. That you don't care about what happens to you, and it concerns me. Of course I don't care about what happens to me. It's my body's a vessel. It's what I do that I care about. And it's why my failure means so much. Even going off of this, even if your body is just a vessel, you still need to take care of it. You need to fulfill needs, including spiritual ones. And that means taking time for yourself and doing things that are important to you. That may be beyond just the moon beneath, and it doesn't seem like you think about much else beside that. I know it seems like you feel like you know what's going on, but I can assure you that until I feel like I am worthy of forgiveness, I I can't take a day off, I can't focus on myself. This is all I have. I, I can't know what's going on with you, and I don't want to take anything from you, but I am here to support you. We're all here to support you. So please, just come to us. I, I don't want you to suffer through this alone, because I know that's hard. I understand, and I appreciate your concern. I also wanted to pick your brain about something. If that's okay. Um, so long as it's uh, more about the task at hand, then sure. Yes, it's... Well, I'm concerned about Silver. I am starting to have an understanding of my relationship with the heart and the things down here. I have a lot of thoughts in my head that I can't get control of. And as I came down here, I realized that those thoughts, those things I couldn't stop thinking about that forced me to act and do things that seemed like out of character for me. I realized that they became less urging as I descended deeper. And so I've learned that my relationship with the heart is going to be a more positive one, but I don't know about Silver he, first of all, does not seem well as we've gotten deeper. He seems to have gotten worse, and I don't know if he's okay, or... Because I know I know he draws power from the heart, but I don't know what that means for him. Because he's a cleaver, yes? So, so he must get his power from the heart. I just don't know what that means, and I'm concerned, because it doesn't seem to be working for him. Yes, it's quite concerning. Um, I I think, perhaps, as we've moved deeper, the heart has called him uh, stronger and stronger, but I do think he has it in him to resist. Silver's very strong. I understand that. It's just, there's only so long strength itself can last i know from experience 
Just like you said above me, we are here for Silver. Okay. And if it gets too bad, I'll put him out of his misery. Oh, shush. <laughs> I appreciate that, Jenna. <laughs> Happy to help. Always looking out for a friend. <laughs> and is there anything else, Dylan, you wanted to pick my brain about? or I think, any, I think we can leave it at that because it was essentially yeah. I was going to say I'm concerned about Silver because what the fuck? Because why you wouldn't know? you be? <laughs> yeah. Because of course you are. Well, <laughs> Who if the you started fuck throwing isn't... horns, you'd lose your mind for a little bit. So. <laughs> yeah. The four of you reunite outside Gorin. You you weren't like right by the city. No, we were a couple of kilometers away. Yeah, Yeah. kilometers. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I. Yeah, because I fucking ran. No, I remember that, and I was like, "Holy shit, we went far." Okay. Yeah, because Silver was right outside, and then Amber started fucking chasing him, (laughs) and he just ran for a while. (laughs) So we ended up like a few kilometers away. Yeah, you you go back to the meeting place. Gorin is far from you, and you're out in the woods. Well, not is it? Woods. It's like a. It's not woods. It's like rocky crag area, like mountain tundra or something. But I'm sitting by a big yeah. rock because I remember that for episode nine or yeah. episode eight that I picked a big rock to lean against. Hell yeah! <laughs> I imagine if I may make a suggestion that it's another scene uh-huh. yeah. we begin where Reed is just mid story. Uh-huh. I was about to say Thank that. You. Silver is well, like dozing off. Reed is just going. If, if, if two people had the same idea, then it exactly. has to be good. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it turns out it was just two kids in a trench coat. It's wild. Like, d- have you ever done that? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Silver is like dozing. His eyes are half closed. <laughs> He's just leaning against this rock, co- like yeah, wrapped in his cloak. So then I was thinking, maybe if I get a really long trench coat and then I get a friend, we can be like a really long person. And then finally I can get entry to that really big town where right, um, only really long people get... We're, we yes. ran into a, a trouble, but we're back. Good to see you. Oh, yes. Sorry hey! So long. Uh, is everything okay? Yes, it will be fine. Um, nothing to worry about. Amber is definitely getting giving Autumn a look here. Um, yeah, no, we're fine too, right, Silver? Uh, yeah, not not much happens out here. It's okay, just rocks. So are we? Thank you for bringing my things. Yes, of course. Uh, and here's your things, Reed. The things that you left, at least. I I didn't leave anything. I I have everything. Who's? I think you just stole some someone's things. Huh. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think you just stole. No, that's totally <laughs> not what happens. <laughs> Keep everything with me. I think you just okay, stole okay. things that the but hotel. But if you didn't have, the the, inn I just thought I was in the okay. Rooms. Never mind. I if you didn't leave anything, I didn't have anything. Well, what if you know the inn leaves some like like a water bottle and like those soaps <laughs> or whatever? The, you, you took you, the hotel. Mint. You get a mint in your pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Same brain real. Hey, Reed, here's your yeah, mint. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. I like to think Amber is competent, uh, you know? You like to, but... I'm not saying he is, okay? I'm saying maybe. I think probably Silver, like, digs through his bag and he fishes out this book that he borrowed from you, Amber. And he, like, hands that back because he totally just threw that in his bag and then forgot about it after the mm-hmm. morning uh, oh. things were happening. Oh, wow. So Thanks, Silver. Uh, I meant to give that back to you. Oh, it's, it's no worries. If you want to keep it, you can. No, please, take it. All right. All right, folks, what's the plan? The, you, the three of you are going back to sleep in Gorin, in the inn, right? Um, oh, yeah, we're still doing that. I forgot it's not morning yet. Well, right, yeah. I'm not allowed back in Gorin. Why not? Yeah, um, that thing I told you not to worry about, uh, it's... I have something I need to do near the machinery. I can't go back into Gorin until that's done. So. Okay, okay, what the hell is okay. it, Autumn? I think the necrocolinarians are uh, making some false conspiracies about her, so I don't know how safe it will be. That's another reason we might not want to go back, more importantly. I think it's just better for her safety. Well, I mean, that, makes, that means all, all three of us are just- Spending the night here, then, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Not all three of us, but... All four of us, of course. All five of us? Uh. No, Frederick's back in Gorin. Yeah, Fre- Frederick's fine. He's yes. safe. 
We we took care of him. Safe little boy. <laughs> we took care of him. Nothing Sounds can like you hurt. Murdered him. Oh I, my I, god. I gave him a glass of milk and a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Him Talk to him. <laughs> very very good. I, I, I read him. You must take good take so care much. of your twinks. Okay. <laughs> yes. Silver just looks at you like how much trouble look it's it's not trouble it's it's not trouble it should cool you're down you're not allowed back in goran until you do something near yeah, this but that's, that's not goran's decision it's then who says it am autumn please <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to are are, are you okay he looks like very taken of guard he was not not really prepared to answer that question <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm all right i'm not i'm unharmed since that little dialogue happened earlier in canon, where mm-hmm. Sil- Silver was like, oh, I'll, t- I'll talk about this later when everyone's here, so I don't have to mm-hmm. repeat it. Yeah. We're just gonna be like, ahem, 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 Silver, do- ahem, is there anything you want to talk about? Ahem, is there anything you want to talk about? Or, like, I don't know, maybe, uh, like, I don't know, if, like, if you like my apple or, like, something else, I don't know. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. He-, he gives you this look that's, like, half like tired and half like appreciative <laughs> <laughs> i was waiting for him to bring it up naturally but i, I saw that there he's was not, absolutely yeah. no natural way to bring <laughs> this up happen, no mm-hmm. uh yes it's uh, i don't know how to express this in a productive way so i'm just going to say that i'm growing horns now and according to the book amber was carrying it's a sign of the heart's influence on me which is which I think that's what caused that me to react in that way and I think it's not gonna happen again but I I can't be sure because it's it's it was I don't know I've never had that happen before and I don't really know how to how to uh, deal with it and if you don't want if you want me to like go my separate ways because of it, I would understand because I m- might happen in a worse situation and I might become a liability and I would understand that. That's what I wanted to say. We already have one liability, so what's the second one gonna do? Yeah, I think we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, as, as long as you're capable of maintaining your facilities around us, then I think we'd be more than happy to keep you around. I don't think I would hurt any of you. That's not... I don't think you could if you tried. <laughs> That's somewhat reassuring. I don't know. I I just uh... if anything, I'll just shoot your foot so you can't run away, and then Autumn will heal it after you're done. So everything's fine. I don't necessarily think that's a good idea, but it's, <laughs> it's a plan. Resort. It's yeah, a we can we can put that under like Plan D. <laughs> Speaking of plans, I'm assuming when we're having this conversation as we're walking somewhere. So are we spending no, the night uh, in the I forest? I think we're all just sitting there and. This is where we're gonna yeah. keep up. Or, in or that like, case, like talking in that while case, we set up our tents or our bag rolls or whatever. In that case, yeah, I, I, I'm assuming I'm imagining we're talking all this as I'm like as everyone's taking out their tents or bed rolls or yeah. just blankets or whatever, or just a bunch of leaves clumped together. <laughs> um, <laughs> I say, speaking of plans, as I levitate to the plan to Baldry's house out of my bag, <laughs> what are we gonna do about this? What is that again? I turn it around because it's the cake recipe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only good joke in this <laughs> That is. It's the only one we've kept in, too. Did you want to do something with it? I paid a lot of money for this. Why? I, felt, I mean, I don't know. I felt like it could be useful. I want it to be useful to the plan. I mean, if anything, it is a cookbook and you could become a baker, so... <laughs> That is a good point. That is a good point. I'll, Thank you, I'll Autumn. study and memorize it. I I think it will be of use in the future. I don't know what the exactly thing is, will happen, but... Do we want to break in then? To just have the normal conversation with Baldry? Or do we want to have the normal conversation with Baldry and then break in? I, I think we should just go and hang out. Look at the place. Figure out what we want to do. Get more acquainted with it. And then afterwards, we break in, and we get more info. Not sure what about, but I have a, I have, I have an inkling, I have a little intuition that he's not 
gonna be the good guy in this story. You know what? No, I need to stop metagaming. I hate that I said that. I'm gonna cut that all out. I don't know. I kind of like that Reed is, like, super aware. Yeah. Reed kind of, like, peers through realities. I mean, like... I, it's not metagaming. Yes. It's not metagaming because we don't know if Baldur is a good or bad person yet. We haven't met him. You can all... The I only mean, thing the we fact... know is that he knows a lot of you things. You can also just justify it by saying you don't trust him and you just call people who are the bad guy of the story. Because you, yeah. L- let's face it. Reed sees her life as a story. Yeah, it's an it's an, an, an anthology series. Is that what's the yeah? Word? It's the an word? anthology yeah. series. Yeah. So I'm totally fine with leaving that in if you are, because I think it's fucking great. All right, fine. I don't think we need to break in before we meet the man. We don't know if he has anything worth stealing. And besides, if we get caught, then we're fucked. Okay, but my because qu- Autumn hasn't told. Me or Reed no. that she's gonna kill someone who's hanging out by the no, machine. she has right? not. Te- technically, she hasn't told Amber either. No. Because she said, I just have to finish something. Yep. And Amber totally tried so... to cover for her by saying that the necroculinarians. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it is a reasonable, th- it is a reasonable worry for, uh, I think I'm gonna actually have Silver bring that up. If you can't enter Gorin, it will be difficult for you to speak with Baldury after we find Frederick Bleed. What? Well, things things should cool down after a little bit, I imagine, because... Yes, uh, I just have to complete a mission in that area, I'm assuming, from the information I've been provided. Uh, and then once once that's done, it should, uh, <clears throat> it should be okay for me to return to Gorin. Silver looks incredibly done at this point. <laughs> He's like, alright, what mission are you completing? Who gave you this information? To to not repeat myself too much, uh, somebody from my old life needs me to take someone out. Like murder them? I mean, I, I suppose if you want to split hairs. <laughs> it's okay. M- murder. Uh, Autumn, I hunt beasts for a living. I'm not going to judge you. Reads mushroom camps to magically turn into popcorn. <laughs> I just wish you would have... Forgive me, it's been a while since I've had run-ins with the Order. I I kind of forgot that you all don't know about it. Will you do this on your own? Do you want us... Are you coming with you? Uh, are you leaving until this is done? What What's going on? Well, I imagine we first follow up on Frederick's lead. We, we find out everything we can about the Machines of Dust. And once we finish that, I can find this person I'm supposed to kill and uh, you know, just take care of that on the way out. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult. So, question before like, are, are y'all going to sleep? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this. sleep. I'm gonna make a yeah, cursory th- effort to try. sleep. I okay. highly doubt Silver is gonna sleep any any time tonight. Same with Autumn, probably. I am gonna get sleep, but I think I'm gonna spend a lot of the night trying to turn my newly bought special what is it called spyglass the spyglass spyglass i think i want to actually help me out should i integrate it with my goggles to add a little like put it on to one of the goggles so that it has like a little extended thing and that's the part that shows me Ooh, i think that's rad as hell <laughs> i think so too yeah okay <laughs> i like that yeah so i'm going <laughs> to use my special engineer technician skills <laughs> To integrate the, the 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 parts that are magical of the spyglass onto the one magic of the go- of engineering. Uh, my... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but everyone's like trying yes, to get rested. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As everyone gets varying amounts of sleep or at least rest, uh, the hours pass, and after some hours, when everyone when everyone has rested for a while, Silver, you've been trashing all night. Uh huh. You're waking up by, a, for once, a comforting call. Nobody else is awake at this point, but it's soothing. Like, it feels like the same kind of call as your heart calls, but this one, it doesn't think this uh, massive panic. Uh-huh. It feels calming. Uh-huh. I'm very suspicious. And that's where we end Hell this episode. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. God. What the <laughs> fuck, Rio? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. 
If you'd like to check us out on our social media, you can check Twitter and Instagram at Echoes OTU. You can also check us out on Patreon. Oh my gosh. Patreon! You can give us it's money. It's a now. great place with a bunch of fun perks, and you can give us money as much as you want. You can also get your own Patreon NPC. But you didn't hear that from me. You did. I just said it. But <laughs> you don't have no, to. I buy- said it. You don't have to give us money on Patreon, though. Just listening is enough. We appreciate all of you. Yeah. Also, one of the wonderful perks on the Patreon is access to our wonderful Discord server. There's. It's it, it it's 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 a fun place where we can talk about the podcast as 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 little spoiler as possible. Uh, if it's spoiler, then we go in our private chat. But it's a great place. Go ahead and join it. Only so, a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Only a dollar a month. Well, well is it a dollar and a little bit because it's a euro technically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only it's a euro to join. You know, and I guess like, depending pay, on the tax, I don't you... know how it works. Yeah, I don't know. You won't k- get kicked out if you like. To stall. Somewhere between yeah, a dollar and two dollars. It's the worst outro ever. No, it's not. What do you mean? I love it's this. It's a great All outro. Alright, okay. I'm Shut sorry. Up. I'm sorry. I mean, compared compare to some of our other outros, <laughs> this one is, is pretty good, I, I have to say. Alright, alright. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.